black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Today's subscriber sponsor request coming in super hot from a longtime supporter, Mariella D. Shout out Mariella D. She's looking for me to whip up a classic Cuban comfort food at lunch a cubano we all know it cuban sandwiches so i've got all the fixings here pretty simple throw together nothing too crazy however this baby right here the pork butt does take time tender love and time so we're going to marinate let it do its thing for a while and then we're going to slow cook it for hours and hours and then we're going to throw together these classic cubano sandwiches okay let's get into it <laughs> Okay, so I got the boneless pork butt roast, which really is just shoulder. It's not actually the butt of the animal. So we gotta get that into this marinating bowl here. And that's pretty much it. This is the hardest part of anything. We just have to marinate meat and then put it on for a long cook time. But outside of that, it's a real simple dish. Extremely simple marinade as well. We got some cumin, maybe a tablespoon and a half, bunch of garlic, bunch of oregano, Maybe another tablespoon and a half. We got salt. We got pepper. And we got hella lime juice. And that's it. Let's work it in now. Cover it. Let it sit for hours. Hours and hours to do its thing. To tenderize and penetrate and do its thing. Gonna also whip up a nice and easy carrot celery slaw. So I gotta make up a nice little dressing here just for like kind of a single serving size maybe. Two tablespoons of mayo, maybe two and a half. A bunch of sugar, maybe two tablespoons. A dash of vinegar. A hint of water. And a vigorous whip. to see where we're at for sweetness and tartness that is perfectly delicious okay so we'll be making a shredded carrot and celery slaw i got my shredding tool here very nice and it's really just as simple as this shredding it down into strips takes no time at all i love this tool it is fantastic all right we got the celery done i love me a good shredded slaw if you've never had a nice shredded slaw like this you're missing out it is so good with the carrot obviously we peel the first dutty outside layer before we shred always remember that carrots ready to rock shred her down last minute game time decision i'm gonna add some super finely sliced and diced bread and butter sweet pickle into this i don't know why just was on my mind. I think it'll add a nice, just a nice little note in the slaw. Super fine. All right, everything into our dressing, pickles, carrots, celery, and all. And then we grab our tongs and we hit this with a nice toss. Might have to adjust and add some more vegetables because this is a little soupy just to make everything completely come together. Just a touch of salt. No, it's not the most appetizing looking thing, but I promise you, this tastes so good. Once it's super cold, unbelievable. Okay, we're well marinated. Time to put our big piece of pork in the slow cooker here. We're gonna put it in for, I don't know, probably, I'm just gonna keep checking on it, but it's gonna take, I would say like probably four hours. And we're just gonna add some of this liquid into here again and let that keep it moist and reduce down into a sauce. All right, about four hours later and a little bit of broiling, here comes our pork. A nice, good exterior, feeling pretty soft. I'm gonna go ahead and tear into this and let it cool off a little bit. All right, let's see how easy this comes apart. There we go, just like that, perfect. Just gonna chop this down into chunks. I'm gonna not quite pull it like pulled pork, but just kind of chunkify it. I feel like that's a little more authentic with the Cubano sandwich. It's a little more, 
you know bigger chunks not so much super shredded pork I don't think but this is looking fantastic just to keep it extra nice and juicy we still have a bit of that liquid that we cooked it in with the lime juice and all the seasonings so I'm just gonna drizzle a bit over now that we've cut it just to make sure we don't go too dry a little bit of bun prep I know that we got to have the square sawed off ends so I'm gonna take the butts just these little nub butts off the end and make ourselves a perfect kind of square maybe like eight inch in length bun and we're gonna open it up from this side nice and gently into this beautifully soft bun now I don't know if it's supposed to be just mustard or mayo and mustard but I love the combo of mayo and mustard so we're gonna do an equal parts mayo mustard whip up sauce Now y'all can let me know if that's blasphemy in the comments. I'm not entirely sure, but I like it like this. Just my preferential way. All right, first up, we gotta lay our sauce. Construction is key. You guys know I get all hype about construction, so we gotta lay our sauce first. All right, sauce is laid. We need a good amount of Swiss cheese. I'm gonna go Swiss cheese on both sides of this. I'm gonna do four slices per side kind of overlapping and then what we're gonna do is to ensure a good melt on this I'm just gonna throw this in the broiler for like a minute 30 seconds just to melt this cheese down and then we build the rest all right lightly melty to start and then we got a stack pile on so on this side we're going we got to go ham layers we got three folded hams on each side and then we're gonna do pickles like this, a little staggered stack. And then we're coming in with our pork, our perfectly prepared pulled pork. Pa 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 pa. With that nice little lime juice sauce on it, nice and moist. And then we do a quick closure. Flip her around, have a look. See how she is, beautiful. And now next we're gonna press it on the pan. All right, we got two boys going on the pan. Low and slow heat, very, very low. We don't wanna burn this, we just wanna crisp it on that low. Uh oh, we got meat falling out, we don't like that. Press, and then we're gonna put a pan on and do a real press. All right, I think it's time to flip. We'll see where we're at. Hopefully we've got a nice crust on these. Flip one. Nice, perfect. Not too crispy, not burnt. Just how we want it. There we go. And once again, kind of slap her down with the pen. Get some juices running and grilling into the bread. While those are finishing on the grill, a little side of coleslaw that we made. Simple carrot celery with sweet bread and butter pickles chopped into it. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a drizzle just to make sure we got that little bit of wetness. All right, these guys are done and pressed. Time to give them a nice diagonal slice. I feel like Cubano always deserves a nice diagonal cut, otherwise, maybe that's just disrespect. Open up that center. Ooh. Stack on top, and there it is. The perfect crusty top. Fresh made pork. Cubano sandwich. All right, y'all. This one's from Mariella, Mariella D. Thank you very much for coming through and requesting this. I am going to 100% enjoy every bite. But there it is. Authentic Cubano sandwich. Let's go outside and eat. All right, y'all, back outside in the Garden of Zen with a nice fresh plate and a nice fresh slaw and this beautiful sandwich. I really feel like this is a summery sandwich. I, you know, the 
pork is fairly heavy ingredient, but I don't know. There's something about the, I don't know. It feels like a summer sandwich to me, but uh, I'm really excited to eat it. Once again, shout out Mariella. Uh, we're going to pour out. I feel like uh, a Mountain Dew is fairly appropriate for this. I just had it on hand and it seems light and fresh and lemon limey summery vibes or whatever you want to say. So we'll pour that up and then we'll get to crushing this food. The breeze is nice today. It's not super hot today, which is awesome. Not too, too humid. The weekend was crazy wild, but I did go spend a bunch of time out on the lake, like with my family and stuff, visited grandparents and just was near water and just kind of tried to escape the heat, but still it was crazy out there. And also there's crazy wildfires going on all around my region of the world. And uh, like the air quality has been crazy, smoky, coming in from surrounding regions. So it's been a wild couple days. Anyways, let's go ahead and get right into a bite of uh, one of these sandwiches because they're looking amazing, looking and smelling amazing. So I think, yeah, let's go with this guy over here. Close up for you. And then a bite for me, that perfect crust, nice and pressed. I'm impressed with myself. All right. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That is exactly what's up. I love that the bread gets so smushed and thin and crispy. The, like I said, that like, that marinade, it's extreme citrus, but it doesn't infiltrate right down. Like it just, it's on the exterior. So when you break up the meat, it's mostly just pork flavor and then you just sprinkle a little on and it gives it that nice lime bite that makes it super fresh tasting but also rich with the cheese, a bit of mayo in there. Okay, so this coleslaw I made, I used to make this at a restaurant I worked at all the time. And it is so simple, it's just celery, carrots, pickles, and a simple slaw dressing. A sweet slaw dressing. Mm. But I promise you, it's the best. The crunch. and the way that carrots and celery play off each other in general. Mm. 
Mm. With that sweetness. Mm. That creaminess. Amazing. All right. I did bring just a little extra mayo mustard for dipping. Y'all know I stay dipping. Mm. I wonder if there is a specific bread that these are supposed to be done with. This is just like a, a fresh like Subway sandwich roll. It's like a super fresh white bun, really. But it seems to work perfect, in my opinion, for this. But I do wonder if there is a specified bun for this. But yeah, dude, it's wild. I was like looking at the news and stuff and there's just regions that are on fire that are like the city itself. You can't even see anything. City's fully engulfed in smoke. And then it made its way to where we are somewhat, but enough that it was noticeable like in the streets and the sky. So, I don't know, man, like, that shit's crazy. I know, like, other places in the world deal with it lots, like California, Australia, and stuff like that, but pretty rare around here. But it has been really dry this season. Like, no, very minimal rain, very minimal thunderstorms. So it makes sense, but that shit is scary, though, for the people that are very close. Pretty wild. I'm gonna make an attempt on uh, another half of this. There's no way I'm getting through both of these. It's a half the amount of meat. But yeah, additionally to that, I don't know, man. Like, I feel like lately I'm just kind of, I don't know. I've just been in the in the shits a little bit internally, like within myself. Just trying to, nothing in particular is like wrong. Life is like fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> I just personally have been faced with like, uh, I don't know, just feel like I'm going through something and I don't, like I can attribute it to many things I would imagine, but that could be like hours of, hours of explanation, but I don't know, just natural highs and lows of life, like peaks and valleys. I feel like we have like really steady times or like quite good times. And then there's always just times where for no explanation, you just start to lack certain motivations or just get down on yourself or don't believe in yourself, become frustrated with stuff become annoyed or burnt out or I don't know just like real human shit and I feel like lately that's just that's a that's like a peaks and like ebb and flow or whatever peaks and valleys like I'm just going through a valley a little bit
And I've been like trying to pull myself up by my bootstraps type shit, but sometimes you just have to like just like let it pass, like stew in it, just exist in it for a while. And let that time run its course and then maybe you just get back to like a more line a more stable line level or maybe you get some highs or whatever. But I know for me personally in my life like I always go through I'm it's hard to be state like exactly stable at all times and just show up every day with the same amount of like pizzazz and jazz and ability to perform in your life to do things like that are the best for you at all times to constantly be like producing and be productive and you know do all the right things and keep everything just so you know like it's just Sometimes you just get exhausted with that shit. I suppose that's where I'm at. I feel a little lost. I'm trying to ponder my next, like, what my next thing is in life. Like, what my next graduation or growth or adventure or whatever that is like I'm just trying to figure out the next progression of something in my life because I kind of feel like I'm just stagnating and uh, you know that breeds a lot of when you stagnate you just kind of you're left stewing like wondering okay like what's you know what I mean because then you can end up in a a long perpetual cycle of the same shit and then wake up one day and be like have I just been on like repeat for the last like however long right I'm just trying to figure out how to get off repeat I think is I think is my main problem But that being said, we also have been living in the weirdest times of our lives with like our life has been forced into a more repetitive, internalized existence of just like of repeat and like you can't do much, can't go too many places and just everything is so, you know, it's been compressed down to like this very simple existence where we got trapped in a very tight space of a very tight routine of just, uh, you know what I mean? So maybe I'm feeling the effects of that finally. Cause like for, a, for the first while of what's been happening in the world, like I was, you know, I don't know, like it wasn't too crazy for me. It didn't feel too bad, but maybe it's finally, that's all catching up to me. Like in my mind, <laughs> I guess, I don't know something, something like that. So anyways, that's why I've been a little bit lax on the uploads. I've just been taking like some time for myself to like think and figure things out and just try to do things that don't feel so like I'm constantly on the hamster wheel of like the upload, the upload every day, upload every day, upload, <laughs> like trying to just see the world a little bit more chill and naturally and like in, indulge in some other things for this, for my sanity, like for my, for my mental health. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sure all of you know exactly what, what I'm talking about. As a human, especially as an adult, we, you know, all these expectations, f you know, fr on ourselves, but also from the exterior world and your family and society and friends and this and that. But then mainly yourself, um, just trying to, you know, figure it out, trying to actualize or get to the next place or... But that could be a problem in itself is even just trying to go somewhere all the time. Like trying instead of just being and like being like, okay, this is enough just to be and to be okay with this for now. And like just appreciate that. I don't know. But that can become a trap too. 
being too like lax and too content is like then you stagnate right so yeah anyways that's kind of just what i'm going through lately to be honest with you guys um uh, you know a little low energy a little disenchanted you might say would be a good word to to, to use but uh i'll come through the other side eventually here and uh get back to optimization of, of life and lifestyle and things like that and also when you feel like that for me at least appetite my appetite just isn't the same as when i'm like up to par like up to snuff like just because of the state that i'm in i feel like when you're in the state like this it's like food is it's appealing but it's like it's just not like how it usually is but anyways off the rails a little bit on that one but i guess i had to get that off into my diary today so you guys are my ears to hear and my diary to express to. So thank you for being that. Um, and that'll be it for this one. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, and stay true. Peace.